Welcome to Breakfast with Spaniels with Dr. Judy Morgan. Remember, you can purchase all of Dr. Morgan's products at her website at www.drjudymorgan.com. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Good morning. Um, all right, a couple housekeeping things. Uh, yesterday was... What? Yesterday was ridiculously busy. We taped... This weekend, five hours of radio shows and two hours of online uh, webinar, seminar <laughs> presentations. So, oh my gosh, craziness. Uh, yeah, along with uh, some packing and a bunch of other stuff. So, and we got hay for the for the minis yesterday. A load of hay. Got got new nails. It was a crazy weekend. So. A uh, couple of housekeeping things. We leave Friday for the four-week trip, so you'll still hear from us off and on. Um, I actually did an interview yesterday with Melissa Shelton, the oily vet uh, who does essential oils, and on our trip, we are going to be within 45 minutes of where she is in Minnesota. Um, there's a good chance we're going to swing by there and actually uh, do a Facebook Live um, at her home where she produces and bottles all of her oils and I think that could be interesting and educational for all of us so uh, I think that could be pretty fun um, mugs honey zoom up to mugs so about half of the mugs that we ordered have been sold uh, whatever is left is in the website so it'll say whether they're available and they can't be back ordered the thing is no mugs will be shipped while we are away uh, it's too difficult for the people from my office to have to get them from the house to ship them and we don't have a place to store them so um, if you want mugs you got to get your order in by Wednesday night otherwise you won't be receiving them until the middle of September um, okay love Animalio I know it's so cool um, yeah gonna be in Michigan on Sunday so that'll be fun too and the mess in southwest Florida I, we were watching that on the weather channel this morning it is a huge mess so uh, you know there's warnings every year about algae blooms up around the Great Lakes and uh, pets dying from it and we actually lost our last Doberman to an algae bloom in our pond and he drank a ton of water from the pond he didn't die from the side effects of the algae as much as he died from bloat but the the algae definitely contributed to the bloating situation um, so uh, this problem in Florida is huge for people who live down there and I actually a uh, good friend from vet school lives on Sanibel Island, which is one of the areas they said was definitely suffering, and the pictures are horrendous. This algae bloom is very toxic to our pets. It'll cause liver failure and death. Um, somebody sent me a message this morning and said their neighbor's dog uh, died. For, she was hemorrhaging internally, which is basically from the liver failure, and then they can't clot. Uh, it's only a three-year-old dog that had to be put down. So you want to keep your pets away from those areas with the algae blooms. Apparently it's a problem in Wisconsin, Oregon, Washington State, 
uh, and Florida are the big areas right now. So if you are taking your pets boating or swimming or camping and you're near lakes or streams or ponds that have this huge algae bloom, do not allow them to swim in it. Do not allow them to drink all of this algae. So it's found in stagnant waters. And the big problem um, is the fertilizer that we use on uh, you know crop fields and lawns and during these heavy rains it all washes into the waterways so in Florida the big problem was you know the hurricane season that just dumped tons of water washed everything from the you know all the leftover oils and uh, antifreeze and salts and fertilizers that are on the roadways all gets washed into the waterways and when the area is uh, when the water is moving quickly you don't get that algae cover but where the water doesn't move and it's very stagnant it you you'll get this huge algae bloom so we used to own a, a house that had a pond and one of the first things that we had to do was put in three huge um, almost like a sprinkler system but it's basically a, a float in the middle of the pond with pump down below that just kept the water circulating and it goes up and makes a big rain shower down but it just keeps that water circulating all the time and you have to size the the pump and the sprinkler system to the the size of the waterway so i mean that's pretty impossible down in florida i don't know how they can get that water moving and when they opened up the uh the dams uh from the lakes because of all the flooding it brought a lot of that fertilizer and stuff down into the waterways and so there's really not a great solution apparently they're they said this morning they're working on solutions but they're about six years away from being able to do anything with this so you know in the meantime folks could we um we be going to mission a? um you know could we all stop using so much stuff on our lawns like we don't use fertilizers on our lawns. I'm quite happy to have green weeds out there. It really doesn't matter. It's for me, it's more important to have healthy environment and healthy animals. Um, as much as I hate weeding, we weed rather than spraying Roundup. And, you know, there was a time in my life when I sprayed Roundup because I didn't know any better. But once you know better, then you kind of can't do it anymore. There are natural solutions that you can use to spray on weeds. Hughes made up a few. I'm not exactly sure what he puts in them. I think vinegar and some red pepper hot sauce works pretty well okay vinegar can work uh, but there's a lot of natural um, recipes oh now George is giving us his butt there's a lot of natural recipes on uh, the internet that you can find for spraying your weeds that are just so much more effective um, I did who did I do an interview with this weekend Oh, it was the one I was on her show, Roberta Grimes, on Seek Reality. I'm not sure when it's going to play, but I'll, I'll post it when it does. Uh, we talked about natural things that you can... We, we talked about basically toxins that can be found in the house that would affect your pets. And so we talked about cleaning products and natural cleaning products. Uh, Melissa Shelton and I talked about the essential oils and fragrances and perfumes that are used in a lot of the cleaning products in the, in the home. And, uh, you know, a lot of that essentially comes from essential oils but knowing you know what is just a perfume what is actually essential oil and what the tolerance levels are uh, is kind of important and that's where she is so helpful vinegar and lemon juice with water in a squirt bottle yeah I mean things that are so simple let's see our government in Florida has known this for years it has chosen to ignore and not take proper regulatory measures to control yeah absolutely I mean, this isn't something that just happened this year. It's been happening and getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And, you know, I do feel badly for the property owners down there because they're saying, you know, our property values are plummeting, you know, especially now that this is on national and international news. Anybody who's thinking about moving to Florida is going, well, I'm not going to live there. So, um, you know, it is definitely a problem in more ways than one. I mean, it's an economic problem. It's a health problem. And apparently it's killing all the fish as well. So the stench is 
pretty putrid from what I understand, um, which, you know, then your tourist industry is not so hot either. So uh, all kinds of, is this freezing up? You know, I saw it uh, stuttering a little bit, but um, good morning from North Carolina. So North Carolina is under a lot of rain. I also interviewed a veterinarian who's retired over the weekend who lived in South Carolina and had to move away because she developed molds so badly that it was affecting her brain and her cognitive abilities. So there's a lot of things in our environment that can affect us mentally and physically and the same for our pets. So, you know, it all comes down to taking really good care of yourselves, you know, good nutrition, good balance in your life. Right now, I'm I'm kind of shocked that I'm actually hanging in because I have <laughs> my balance is so out of whack right now. Um, I'm hoping that uh, my balance will, will get back to a little more zen. Yeah, four more days, four more days. <laughs> then we'll get back to a little more zen and I'll reset everything and that'll be good. So uh, let's see, vinegar, orange and cinnamon oil. Somebody said salt. Yeah, salt solutions will work well. Uh, if you're using heavy salt solutions, um, be careful that your pets are not the type who are going to go munch on those plants because the heavy salt could cause problems for them. Um, so there's, you know, all kinds of things that we can do. Uh, okay. Um, I think we're going to let it go at that. I wasn't even planning on talking about the algal bloom, but it is a big deal. And somebody asked me about it this morning. So um, just keep your pets away from it. Do not let them drink that. Do not let them swim in that. Uh, it's not worth risking their health. And oh, we almost had a crash of a light. That was going to be ugly. Um, so... Uh, you know, definitely keep your pets away from that stuff. And, you know, yes, you go to Florida to swim and you and be in the boats and be in the waterways and it's kind of awful. <laughs> Yeah, we're definitely going to see an increase in mosquito-borne diseases this year. Uh, encephalitis, West Nile virus with all this rain on the east east part of the country. And then meanwhile, out west, everybody's drying up in fires. Wish we could balance it. It's like the true definition of yin and yang. Out west is totally yang, and out east is totally yin. 